Well, first of all, congratulations on the film. We're so excited for you. I mean, there's probably no more of a better definition of a passion project than, than this one. So you must be, although you're on the promotional rounds, you must be relieved to finally get to share this with the world. Yeah, it's been really a journey of love for us, for Mark and I to be able to do this together. It's something that, that we believe so deeply, so profoundly, and um, to be able to have combined our, our, our talents and our resources and our, our energy to bring Jesus back to the big screen. He hasn't been on the big screen in 10 years, and his entire life hasn't been presented in a cinematic version for almost 50 years since the greatest story ever told. So it's exciting. Son of God comes out on February 28th, and, and we can't wait. Well, that, that has to be kind of a, a great payoff, though, to, to be able to do that, to use your resources, to be able to bring the greatest story ever told to the screen. Yes, we'll never do this the rest of our lives, right? I mean, the, the chance for once in a lifetime to be able to share the Gospels in such a broad way. I mean, we're not qualified to be pastors or educators, but we are qualified to make a, a story on the screen to reach people. And we're hoping the outcome of this in the long run will be churches will use this film to reach more people as a tool, you know, this is just two hours and it's, it spans Jesus' life, but there's lots of it left out that is in the Gospels and the churches can fill in those blanks. Well, and the promotional efforts in this film are amazing. The grassroots swell that you have going on, there are theaters that are already selling out. So you, it's, it's nice to know that you've already got a hit on your hands in, in a sense, right? Well, it, it certainly feels like there's been this beautiful groundswell of support for the film, for those that have seen it. I think they see the opportunity to, to touch people's lives um, with the story of the Gospels, you know. For many people who already know and love Jesus, Son of God, I think, will just present an opportunity to fall in love with Him all over again. Well, and there's so many touching experiences, I know, probably working on the film, but now out here promoting it, you're seeing people coming out of these screenings crying and uh, smiling and just these wonderful feelings. And that, that uh, what is that like? Because not, not a lot of people get to see the in-person reaction, but to see that kind of reaction must be astounding. It's been amazing. I think the most important lesson for us from it has been that to always make things so that people sit through the credits and have gr discussions about the film afterwards. You don't often see that. People are lingering in the theaters after the credits, having talking about what they just saw. People in the lobby after they've sat in the theater talking to another group. I mean, this is what um, Christianity is. It's small groups sharing. And that's what's really happening. And you know, this is largely being seen by a churched audience so far, who would be very quick to reject something that didn't deal accurately and sensitively with the Gospels and the story of Jesus. I mean, we know that Charlotte, North Carolina, a group of business leaders got together and have rented 27 screens for the opening night. Uh, San Antonio, uh, Pastor John Hagee has taken 14 screens simultaneously at the same time in the same theater. It's really, really something fantastic that's happening, which means more people get to see it, and some people who've never read the Gospels will get their first experience of the story yeah. of Jesus. And I think that we've been able to do that, you know? We gathered this great international cast as well um, with the beautiful and um, a performance of Diogo Margado in the central role of Jesus. Diogo is a Portuguese actor um, who we came upon really through through prayer. We were just a few weeks from beginning filming and we didn't have an actor to play Jesus. And um, to say we were anxious would be an underst understatement. Uh, we just put it out there in prayer to everybody we knew. And I sent out an email to everyone I knew with a header looking for Jesus. 
And uh, through a series of amazing coincidences, uh, Diogo um, was, was brought to us and uh, ended up coming to meet us at our home for the very first time. And he came down our path and, and we have a, a glass on the door and we looked out like a couple of kids. We saw him walking down the path and he took my breath away and I said to Mark, there he is, there's our Jesus. And he walked through our door and into our lives. And I know that his performance in the role of the Lord will touch people's lives for generations to come. Well, and I know that you guys are also inspiring other filmmakers to get out there. And you're also kind of kicking in the door a little bit uh, for, for other uh, films uh, involving religion and Christianity. So, so uh, what advice would you give to someone that's, that's getting into this business because it's a tough business, TV or film. No, if you're gonna, if you're gonna deal with biblical material, mm. uh, assemble a good group of advisors and listen to them and stick to the story. I mean, the best advice on yeah. biblical stuff. Yeah. But you know, I mean, uh, and assuming you do that, and assuming you can surround yourself with a good team, because you need a good team, you just have to keep going. If you start overthinking what might happen, you remember, we didn't know that this film would get into theaters. We just knew it was on our heart to make it. And if you feel you need to know all the answers, you'll never start. You just have to have faith and go forward and, and, and keep going forward and just know that you want to get something done. We wanted this movie, mm. Son of God, to reach people. Yeah, well, I think everything begins with intention. And our intention in making this film was to spread the gospel and to touch people's hearts with the story of our Savior. And, um, you know, it began with prayer and um, we are just so grateful for the opportunity to have been able to, you know, to have been called in this way and to have been able to use our, our other successes and, um, you know, our resources and our talents to, to bring um, to bring the story to the screen. And, um, you know, we're, we're encouraged. Now, I've enjoyed asking this question on the Drew Pearson Show a lot, but uh, Drew famously caught the Hail Mary pass, and everyone has a Hail Mary moment in their life, which, you know, is an interesting uh, title. But uh, what, what would you say is your Hail Mary moment in your life where you just had to go for it and it worked out for you? I wrote a book called Jump In. The book is about not knowing much, but just doing things anyway and figuring it out along the way. You know, for example, in Son of God and the Bible series, we're not quali we're not theologians, we're not academic professors or pastors. So what do we do? We assembled a team of church leaders and academics and theologians to get the knowledge to help us move forward. But if we'd have felt that we shouldn't start if we didn't already have that theology degree, we wouldn't have started. It's the same in everything. Survivor. When I got the deal for Survivor, I didn't even have the island. I didn't know where I would even do it. I didn't know how to do it. I just knew I had a deal with CBS to make Survivor, and I would figure it out. Well, you did too, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You guys are such a good team. I, the last thing I got to know is just a husband and wife team. That's that's uh, it's it's amazing, but it's uh, uh, yeah. I, listen, it's it has been so much fun for us. Imagine being able to do what you love to do, to be able to combine it with with what you believe, and to be able to do that with your best friend and the person that you love. So it's really been such a deepening for us in our marriage and in our friendship mm -hmm. and in our faith. And we really feel very blessed to have been able to take this journey together. Well, thank you so much for being with thank us you. and congratulations again.